Hello. I noticed that many users need an autoresponder for Telegram. So, in this video I will show you, how to set up a Telegram autoresponder for completely free. If you want to know how to get autoresponder for other services or social media, please leave a comment about it. Okay, let's get started. Firstly I will show you what you need to download and install. All used in this video links can be found in the description below. You need to install Python because we will program the autoresponder using Python. Please don't worry, it won't be difficult for you. When installing flag this checkbox if you use Windows. Then just click on the next button every time. The next thing is installing the Git software. Select the version for your platform here. Don't change any settings when installing, just click the next button until the installation is complete. And the last software, is Heroku command line interface. Install this, and don't change any settings as well. Then go to the Heroku website and register here. You have to enter name, email, country, and favorite language. Use your real email, and it doesn't matter what you enter in the rest fields. Then confirm email and enter the password. I think you shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay. I created this temporary Telegram account, I will use this account for the autoresponder. Open your browser. Go to, my.telegram.org. You need to enter a phone number of your Telegram account. Then you will get a confirmation code in the Telegram app. Click on, API Development Tools. Fill this information, enter something here. Okay, we will need these two codes, API ID and API hash. Keep these codes in secret, this is your login information. The script will use these codes to authorize your Telegram account. Okay, now let's get down to making and customizing the autoresponder. Make a new folder for this script. Name it as you want. In this folder create a new text file. I rename it to bot.py. Make sure that you have the py extension. This is a Python script file. Then open this file using any text editor, like Notepad. I will use Sublime Text. Now we have to make some code. It's very simple. I will leave this code in the GitHub page, so you can just copy and customize it. But I have to explain how it works. So let's make some code. Firstly, import the needed package, enter, from telethon, import, telegram client, and events. Make sure that you enter the capital letters here. Then make two variables, API ID, and API hash. Go to the Telegram page, where you can get these API code. Paste it in the script. Make a new instance for your account, I name it as client. That equals, Telegram client. In brackets put three parameters, session name, this is any text you want. API ID and API hash, that we got before. To start this session add, dot, start, and brackets. Then I create a new variable that contains a message, users will receive this message in response. You can use here any text, links, and emoji. Further I will show how to add image to this message. Backslash n, is line break. Then let's make a handler that will send this message in response. Enter, at client.on, in brackets, events.new message. Then make a new asynchronous function, name it, handler. This function contains only one parameter, event. Don't forget to put a colon. Inside this function we need to get information about who sent the message. I use the sender variable to get a sender's username. And then just send the reply using the send message method. Inside this method you need to enter the sender's username, and the reply message. You can also add here image, to do this enter, file, equals, file name. You have to put this file to the script folder. And the last line, client, dot, run until disconnected. With this command the bot will work constantly. Okay, save this file. The script is ready and you can use it. Don't forget to install the telethon package. To do this open terminal or PowerShell. Enter here, pip install telethon. Okay, let's run this script, just double click on the script file. It requests to authorize your account, enter the phone number. And then enter a confirmation code from the Telegram app. You need to be sure to run the script on your PC at least once. This is needed to log in and create session files for your Telegram account. Let's check if the script works. I send some message to this Telegram account. And then I get an automatic response from him. This message contains emoji, link, and image. You have to customize this message for you. Okay, the script is working fine, and now let's run it constantly, even if your computer is turned off. 
Make a new text file here, name it as Proc file and remove the extension. Open this file using any text editor. Enter here, bot, colon, python, and name of your python script. Save this file, and you can close it. Open the terminal or command prompt in this folder. Hold the shift key, and press the right mouse button. Select, open PowerShell window here, if you use Windows. Enter here, pip freeze, arrow, requirements.txt. Then open the requirements text file. Delete here everything except this line, telethon. Save this file. Now it's ready to deploy. Open the PowerShell again. Then enter some commands here one by one. I will leave these commands in the description. Git init to make a new repository on your PC. Git add dot to add all files from this folder to this repo. Git commit dash m commit. Then enter Heroku login to authorize your Heroku account in the command line. It opens the browser to authorize. Heroku create to make a new application on Heroku. Enter git push Heroku master to copy all files to the app and install all needed packages in Heroku. Okay, to run this autoresponder enter Heroku PS colon scalebot equals one. Everything is fine if you got the same message in the console. And now the telegram autoresponder is working. I turn off my computer to check if it works. I send any message to my temp telegram and then I get this reply. Okay, good. The autoresponder is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My task was to create such a script that would answer for you while you are offline. So you don't need the autoresponder when you are online. To stop the autoresponder, go to the same folder with the script, open here the console. Enter Heroku PS colon scalebot equals zero. Now this script is not working. If I send something, I won't get the answer from the autoresponder. To run the script again, enter the same command with one at the end. In this video I showed you how to make your own Telegram autoresponder for free which can work all the time when you are offline. Hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.